at New Birth Baptist Church with Rusha Brown, president, founder, CEO of Overtime Basketball Academy, about to do the first annual preseason jump off. Excited. I'm extremely excited. You know, today we have scheduled 200 middle and high school girls to come in and experience our program. We've got 10 WNBA players scheduled to appear and help with the programming. We've got our life skills curriculum, and we're really excited about the day. Hi, Miss Nisla. I'm Kayla Marshall. Now, what brings you out to Overtime Academy today? Well, just to give back and um, all of my experiences in basketball, just to teach the girls and come back and give them something new. We're standing here with Miss Lovelace, Stacey Lovelace, uh, WNBA player. I was with Washington, D.C., the Washington Mystics this past season. You're, you've been overseas, too, as well. Yes, I play overseas. I've been overseas for about six years. I've been in the league for six years. I'm going to Spain, actually, in October to play in Lyon. I've been around for, for quite a bit. Um, I played in D.C. for eight years, and two years ago I got traded to L.A. I played in Spain, I played in Italy, and I played in Brazil. I'm a coach, high school coach at Douglas High School. I played seven years overseas professionally. I played with the Saints a year in Canada, and um. My main project is Jamal Lewis, my younger brother, and I built him from from an infant. I'm agility and speed trainer. I own a, the complex on Northside Drive. My art is speed and agility, and I think that's the most important thing in any sport. Um, what I was doing, I did a, a combination of agility drills. I use a lot of equipment to make sure they hit their mark every time instead of just freelancing. And then I use the resistant core to where they're getting resistance at all times. Tracy. Wonderful event here. What are you working on today? Actually, I'm doing the Passion Principle, our life skills uh, portion of the camp. We want to make sure the kids are educated on the court as well as off the court. Me and another one of the coaches are actually working on ball handling and layups. We're working with the middle school girls. And I'm just basically trying to teach fundamentals. Once you learn the fundamentals and master those, then you can, you know, you can get on to the flashy stuff. But as long as you understand the game first, I think that's most important. My station is passing and rebounding. Um, rebounding is one thing that I've known for, so uh, I was happy to be a part of that and in passing. I'm at the defense station, so I'm teaching them every skill in playing defense. You played basketball overseas as well as in the WNBA. Let's talk about how important this is for the young ladies to come out and be involved in this program. Actually, it gives them an opportunity to relate to athletes who've already been where they're coming along. And sometimes the parents can't relate what an athlete is going through or maybe a coach. But we want to be accessible to them to let them know that they're not the only ones going through what they're going through. You're going to miss you're going to miss some uh, shots, you're going to do this, but you have to bounce back and build them up mentally, not just physically. Miss Brown, how did you like the Overtime Academy today? Oh, I thought it was wonderful. I think that, you know, Tracy and Rusha have so much to give, um, you know, that's needed in the community, especially with, with um, you know, young girls growing up. And we need that kind of influence and we need that kind of role model. What do you think, feel that's positive about this whole situation here with the Overtime Jump Off? I think the WNB players is because, like, a lot of us look up to the players, so it's like we're inspiring to be what they become. So I think it's, I think it's a good positive thing instead of just a regular camp. What is the main thing you want your daughter to get from this this clinic here today? Discipline. Uh, the fellowship, positive attitudes, to see where she can go, to see what people already have achieved. I like the fact that the young ladies are, are trying to help and give back and, you know, and participate with the young girls and it's something positive for the kids to do and it's inspirational, you know, to see that these young ladies are not just WNBA players, but they're professionals, they all have their education, you know. They, they're showing them good attitudes and different things, and I think that's, that's wonderful to make them well-rounded. What can you tell other parents about, you know, getting involved in overtime and other basketball programs? Make time. Yeah, we're all busy. Everybody's got an excuse, but when it comes to the children, they're our future. Make time. As a single parent especially, um, you, you just have to make the sacrifice. You know, it's good in a sense that they're having fun, but at the same time that they're teaching them fundamentals and things like that that they really need to learn. I think every every young lady should experience this. This is a good experience for my daughter who's nine and uh, girls up to 18 years old. I mean, they're all um, benefiting from this. It really has been a blessing for us. Um, I would just like to tell all the young ladies is believe in yourself. You can't expect someone else to do the job for you. You have, as long as you believe and keep the faith, you can achieve anything. Have a dream, go at it hard. 
I would like to tell them to make sure that they know that hard work pays off, um, whether it's in basketball or whether it's in their school, anything they decide to do in life, to make sure that they work hard. And if they work hard, then they should achieve every goal that they've set for themselves. Always just stay encouraged and, and you know, do the best you can and don't let any, anybody tell you that you can't. You know, and if they do, just let it be your fuel. Well, I just want to tell the viewers out there, just be aware of Overtime Academy because it's coming up and it's doing big things for the community. When I was younger, I had to pattern my game after men. And the young ladies today, because of the WNBA and because of the success of women's basketball, don't have to do that anymore. So we just wanted to put a program into play in which they can come out and understand all the things that it takes to help them get to the level that we've already achieved.